All right, Shalom, Brother Kabbalah back with another GMS lesson. GMS keep pushing. Before I go any further, let it give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father's own begotten Son, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rekakwadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone for teaching us his truth, according to the Bible and Ruel. Another Shalom to all the sincere Akims throughout the four corners of the earth, pushing his truth through diligence and sincerity. Hey, look, man. Hey, we, we, look, we're still warning you. Get this wisdom and knowledge and understanding now. All right. Get this wisdom and knowledge and understanding now, man. Okay, Sleazy E starting to clip brothers' pages. Right? As you see, GMS brain food. All right. Um, uh, uh, Brother Hawad, GMS North Carolina. All right. 777 GMS on the go. All right. Uh, the, the, uh, the elder. Um, from Mississippi, Elder Kazak. All right, his page. Uh, where we at here? Where we at here? His page um, was terminated. Uh, I believe it was Yahweh Shad is coming back. This page right here. Yeah, this page right here, I believe, got um, got terminated. Right? And it's all becoming a family of the word, man. Okay? A famine of the word is coming, man. And, and this is Bible prophecy. Right? So let's get into it. Let's go to... Um, let's, matter of fact, let's get... Um, let's go to Isaiah. Bring that out first. It's Isaiah 55 and 11. It says, So shall my word be that go forth out of my mouth. How does the words of the Heavenly Father go out through his men? All right, it's talking about our head apostles and elders, a great millstone, right? Tells you that Amos the third chapter and Luke, Luke the first chapter, man. That the Lord speaks through his men. He gave his, his secrets to him, man. Right? It says, it shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please. And it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. Okay? So the words of the Heavenly Father have gone out, man. Okay? And it should be no excuse, all right, for you Israelites, so called Negro, Latino, and Native Americans, to not have this word, man. To not have repented, to not have turned back to the Heavenly Father, right? Because we're on the internet. Brothers are still out there on the highways and byways pushing. There should be no excuse. Look, these words are going to accomplish whatever the Lord sends them to, man. And it's starting to look like uh, they, they've been done already. The hopeful elect, you know, being sealed up. Because now, look, the Lord's getting ready to take his word away. The Lord's getting ready to take his word away, man, as it tells you in Amos. All right? Amos 8 and 11, I believe. Matter of fact, um... Yep, Amos 8 and 11. But before I get that, I want to get, um, I want to get Wisdom of Solomon. What's that? What's that, five? Uh, no, it's not five. Uh, where is that at? Uh, let me grab my sword. Slack you. I know exactly what is that in my sword. Let's go to Wisdom of Solomon. Alright. Let's go to verse. Let's go to Wisdom of Solomon chapter. Let's see here. Yeah, 8 and 5, Salakia. This is uh, Sirach, not Sirach, but Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 8, verse 5. It says, If riches be a possession to be desired in this life, what is richer than wisdom, the work of all things? And the wisdom of the Bible is what you, you so-called Negro, Latino, Native American, is what you need, man. That's what you need, right? Let's go ahead and read it from here. 
Wisdom of Solomon 8 and 5. It says, If riches be a possession to be desired in this life, what is richer than wisdom that work of all things? Right? You need wisdom to work all things, man. And righteousness. And the scriptures tell you that what? The wisdom and knowledge and understanding. Matter of fact, let's get that real fast. Isaiah 33 and 6. Isaiah 33 and 6 says, And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. The wisdom and knowledge and understanding of the Bible. What to do and what not to do. And the Lord is, is, is taking that away, man. Having Esau uh, uh, permanently terminate these pages, man. Right? But the damage has been done. We read in Isaiah 55 and 11 that the Lord's word on go out void. It accomplished wherever he, he, you know, he, he sends it. So the damage has been done. So the, the Lord's getting ready to take his word back, man. Take it off the streets. Take it from off the internet. Then what you Jake's going to do? Right? You better get it while the getting's good. Isaiah 33 and 6. And wisdom and knowledge will be the stability of thy times. The times we're living in. Jacob's trouble. Right? It's going to keep us stable. It's going to hold us down. You know? It says, and strength of salvation. It's going to be our strength, man. It's going to give us strength in the time when we're weak. Referring back to the scriptures, man. It says, the fear of the Lord is his treasure. So you have to fear the Lord, man. Get this wisdom and knowledge while you can, man. We can't stress this enough. Let's get Proverbs 3. Let's get Proverbs 3. You realize, you, uh, Israel is going to realize, man, that this is what you should have been getting the whole entire time. Right? The wisdom and knowledge of understanding the scriptures. Because it tells you, matter of fact, let's hold that. Let's hold that. We'll come back to that Lord's will. It's 1 Corinthians 3. Because look. Let's read this. I started 18. Let no man deceive himself. If any man among you seemeth to be wise in this world, let him become a fool that he may be wise. That's right. And a lot of our people claim they're wise, right? They're all in the, being Kemet, Muslim, being uh, doctors, professors, lawyers, things of that nature. But they don't know who the hell they are, right? Right? They're saying they're a, a black doctor, a black lawyer, okay? Uh, 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 a Latino judge Right It says let no man deceive himself If any man among you seem to be wise in this world Let him become a fool That he may be wise For the wisdom Of this world is foolishness With the most high <clears throat> Your college degrees right Lawyers degrees The wisdom of this world What this world considers wisdom Is foolishness with the most high Right Because this world doesn't tell you who, who you are This world doesn't tell you Who the heavenly father is Okay Who the true living power is Right And things of that nature It says for it is written He take up the wise in their own craftiness Alright Now who's the wise Esau and he's going to take them in their own craftiness. This new one world order is not going to uh, 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 prevail. Okay, the Lord's going to take them in it, man. But the point I want to make is that the wisdom of this world is foolishness. That's why you need to be getting the wisdom and knowledge and understanding the scriptures. Because the wisdom of this world is not going to keep you stable, man. As we read. Right? The wisdom you need to be getting is the wisdom of the Bible, man. And the Lord is rapidly taking that away. It's Proverbs 3. Um, 13 It says happy is the man that find a wisdom And the man that get of understanding Get the understanding on the wisdom man Cause the wisdom ain't no good to you If you don't have the understanding Behind it Right It says for the merchandise of it Is better than the merchandise of silver mm -hmm. And the gain thereof than fine gold See this This, this wisdom is more precious than, than 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 gold and silver. The scriptures tell you, riches profit not in the day of wrath. Roughly paraphrasing, 
wrath of who? Wrath of the Lord. Verse 14. It says, For the merchandise of it is better than the merchandise of silver, and the gain thereof than fine gold. Mm-hmm. Think about it. It says, She is more precious than rubies. And all the things that thou canst desire are not to be compared unto her. Anything you can desire or think about Anything Money, cars, clothes, fame, fortune Right? Cannot compare to having this wisdom And that's something to think about For you Jakes to straddle in the fence Want to not know if you want to be in the world Or be in this truth Right? Something to think about Verse 16 Length of days in her right hand And in her left hand riches and honor You see So length of days Is with this wisdom man you Live longer Right Get this wisdom now I'm going to close it out on Amos 8 Because soon comes It's going to be too late Amos 8 and 11 It says Behold, the days come, saith the Lord power, that I was in a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. You see? The Lord's going to bring a, a, a lack of hearing the words. It's not going to be accessible to you as a click of a button. Right? It says, And they shall wander from sea to sea, and from the north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord, and shall not find it. You see? And that's going to be a cold day for the ones that have forsaken this wisdom. Get it while the getting's good. So with that, I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rekakwadash, double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone of teaching us his truth, according to the Bible, and well, another Shalom, all the sincere Akims throughout the four corners of the earth, pushing his truth through diligence and sincerity. Shalom.